This is how you can create those viral reverse time edits in DaVinci Resolve. In the first step, you need to cut your clips to the beat. It's really important that your timeline FPS matches the FPS of your clips. Even if that's already the case, make sure that there aren't any duplicated frames in your footage. Because if your final image looks choppy, that's usually the reason why. Once the base structure of your edit is done, it's time to render it. To enhance the quality and make it smoother, we'll be using Topaz. Drag your rendered edit into Topaz and copy my settings. Enable enhancement, enable parameters and type in 100, 100, 50, 50, 0, 50. Then enable frame interpolation and set it to 60 FPS. Export the video and head back into DaVinci Resolve. Now create a new project with the 60 FPS timeline. Since your Topaz clips are now 60 FPS as well, you shouldn't run into duplicated frame issues anymore. You can also copy your all 24 FPS clips into the project just to bring in the original audio and see the cut points. Then replace them with your new 60fps version. Next, convert every clip into a compound clip and drag the reverse time preset from the effects panel onto your clips. You can download this effect for free from my pay app, it's linked in the description. In the inspector, you can now change the speed of your clips. I recommend slowing down shots that contains fast motion, as it usually looks much better. At this point, our edit already looks like this. Now let's add the bounce zooms. To make playback smoother, temporarily disable the reverse time effect. Add an adjustment clip above your first video clip. Then right click it and open in Fusion. Press Ctrl plus Space, search for Transform and choose the second option. Edit and go to the inspector. Then under animation, set motion blur to 1. Now right click on zoom, choose modify width and anim curves. Set the source to duration and the curve to custom. Now set the offset to 1 and the scale to 0.5. Enable mirror and adjust the curve like this. This gives us the bounce zoom in and out effect. To create its counterpart, the bounce zoom out and in, Go back to the edit page, copy and paste the adjustment clip, then open it again in Fusion. In the transform node, go to modifiers and change the offset to 1.5 and the scale to minus 0.5. And there you go, we now have the two different bounce zooms. Simply copy and paste these above every second clip. If an adjustment clip is too short or too long, just stretch it to fit. If you want bounce zooms and a wide variety of transitions as simple drag and drop effects, check out my ultimate transition pack on Payhip, that's also linked in the description. Finally, go back and re-enable the reverse time effect, render your final edit and this is the result. I hope this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to check out my editing discord server and I'll see you in the next video.